Hi everyone, it's Rebecca from the Thane Center back again to show you around our new system, SLCC Groups. So here's the main landing page. As you can tell, there's some updates and announcements, different events, and quick links to my groups, which is really exciting. Over here on the left is our main navigation pane. Above the line is things that are for all of Salt Lake Community College system-wide. And then below that line are things for me as a person. So my groups that I've signed up for, my meetings, my events, um, if I've started some surveys and forms, the draft will be right there. Some things I wanted to point out. Um, this is where we'll find our virtual fair. Um, so as you know, we're doing our mega fair online in January. And so this is where we'll find that information. There's a special events opportunity specific for volunteering and service opportunities. This is somewhere where you can post an opportunity that's low barrier. Um, maybe it's a one-time day of service or um, an open house or a volunteer orientation to learn more about your organization. Um, something that has a start date and date and is really low barrier for students that are just looking to get involved right now. They can come on here and find that opportunity. If you have something that is um, a little bit more of a general all-call recruitment piece for volunteers or anything like that, you'll come up here to the feed and then um, there's a specific uh, channel or feed specific to volunteer opportunities. So this is where we would post things that are a little bit more general. Hey, come and support our organization. Um, we're always looking for mentors or tutors and not necessarily something like super specific. Although if you do have a specific opportunity, you're more than welcome to post it there as well. So we'll go back to the main page. Um, the last thing over here that I wanted to show you is our directory. I'm so excited about the possibilities that will come from this directory. Um, it's a place where all of the users who are connected to Slick groups belong. Um, there's different or things that might be suggested for you. Um, you can search whatever connections you already have, but maybe I am looking for community partners who are interested or looking for um, speaking opportunities to come and talk to my um, to my maybe my club meeting or something along those lines. Um, if you are looking for other folks um, based on your interests, um, so say I am super excited about um, child development, I could filter down and see what community partners are interested in that or what faculty members are interested in those same issue areas. Um, I think that there's a lot of really cool potential to make connections this way, especially um, with organizations and entities that are outside of the Thane Center. So really cool stuff over here. Um, on the top there's some additional navigation. Um, we're going to click on groups and then go to all groups. This is our new community partner database. There's also um, listings for student organizations and clubs and on-campus departments that participate in our uh, resource fair. Um, but this is where everybody will find what community partners we are working with right now. Um, there are <laughs> some pretty easy ways to identify who's come in and worked on their um, profile and who we are still waiting to get connected with. Um, something to keep in mind is that this will link them directly to your official website. Um, if you have any additional information on how folks can become a volunteer with your organization, with your own process for application, orientation, and training, you can give them some basic information right here um, right on here to get them started and connected um, with your organization um, right from the beginning. But what I want to do now is click on one of our partners. We're going to dive into Fair Credit for a minute. And um, this is their main landing page. They can add some additional channels and get some stuff, um, some chatter going. Um, there's some different navigation panes along the top. Um, if you click on settings, you can see who has access to what information. Um, you know, kind of customize your page to be just what you want it to be. Um, if you click on these three dots, you can also create additional channels if there's specific topics that you want to be having conversations with um, your members. Something that's really important to re, um, to know about this system is that they do have to be members in order to see the majority of the information that you have on your group page. If we click on manage, this will take us to our main dashboard. 
where we can customize the experience um, and all of the different information that we're looking for. Um, if I click on settings, this is how I would get my basic information set up for my group page. Um, definitely want to make sure I update a square logo so that it's not just a shadow of people. Under access and privacy, this is where you can add sign up instructions and that's that uh, additional information that folks were sharing on that main database page of like, hey, this is how you can get connected to us to volunteer or be a supporter. Um, you can add your, your social media networks. Um, all sorts of different information can be added, again, to really customize um, your page. The next thing I want to point out is um, on this page is also where you would go to create an event. Um, this event can be something that is um, you know, a regular ongoing occurrence, like every Friday afternoon we have tutoring, or um, something that has, again, specific start and end times. End times. Um, when you scroll all the way down at the bottom, hopefully I'm not making you guys too sick, but um, you can also identify co-hosts, so if you're working with another community partner or um, a student club on campus, you can identify them as a co-host for that event. You can also identify it as a service opportunities. Um, so this is where, again, it will show up on that special listing um, specific for those low barrier one-time opportunities for folks to get involved with. If it's more general um, or like a fundraiser or something, don't click that button. Um, this is also where we can manage our officers and our members. There's so much cool functionality within this system. Um, I really encourage you to take some time to explore it. There's also ways for you to award um, or reward your users with badges and different um, ways to make it more fun and engaging um, and a little bit more like a game than just another place to go for information. Finally, the I want to point out to you all is over here in the top right hand corner is how we get to your account. Again, as I mentioned before, you as a person have an account that interacts with the system and interacts with the different groups, um, like what your organization will have. If we go here, we can view our profile, we can edit it, we can adjust our notification settings or our privacy settings, um, lots of different things that we can do to help make this um, a much stronger system. Um, you know, editing your profile to add in interests and different opportunities that you're looking for will make that database a much stronger, um, much more robust directory. Um, you can also change your notification settings, which is really important. Um, what we have noticed, um, so you can get notifications here on the web, um, like up here in that button. Um, you can get an email notification or um, there is a really robust app um, system for this group and so that's another way to do it as well um, but something that we have noticed is that um, you are not likely to receive new event registration notification unless you opt into it so that is definitely something that you will want to take into consideration um, especially as you create events um, with that, that's kind of our basic overview of the new system. There's definitely a lot more to explore um, and check out. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Theme Center if you have any questions or concerns. Um, we're really appreciative of your time that you're spending to help get this system up and going and to make it as wonderful of a resource as we know is possible.